Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Alan Ander, and today I'm going to show you a quick little tip so that you can enable the custom text messages icon on a winterboarded 3.0 iPhone. Now, if you guys don't know, winterboard, the way it works is that when the custom theme is made, it's made using the mobile substrate. So the name of the icons are cut are being put by winterboard by the name of how it is. So in 3.0, you know, most... Uh, most themes do have custom icons for the messages app, but messages used to be known was used to be known as text. So this quick little um, not a hack but a little tip will show you how to get back the custom um, SMS or whatever icon that they had for um, any winterboard theme. So what you do you have to SSH into your phone, and I'm using CyberDuck for this. I'm using Demo God and Screen Splitter so I can show you my iPhone live here on my screen so on um, you you have to send it to your iPhone and you go to the root folder and then you go here where it says slash var slash stash you go to the var and then you go to the stash folder then you go into the themes folder make sure you go to the folder where it shows you this, like a small little identifier and when you go in there right there you're able to see all of your themes go to the theme that you're currently using so in this case I'm using smog I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna go ahead and go to icons. So right in there, all of the icons for a lot of applications are in there. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to where I find text.png. I'm gonna right click, rename, I'm just gonna name it messages.png. That's simple. All I have to do now is do a respring of my phone, which I'll go ahead and do now. So you guys can see the difference. So I'm, I, I can already disconnect already. Um, for those of you who are Windows users, uh, WinSCP, it works the same way. All you're doing is finding the icon file and renaming it from text to messages. Really simple. So let me go ahead and do that one more time. And there we go. Now we have the new icon. I'm just waiting for Screen Splitter to turn on. Excuse the the wait and thank thank you for your patience. Alright, let's see here. Should be on the Wi Fi. Turn it on one more time. Let's see, I'll find my phone right now. I'll keep looking for it. Look at this. Alright, and there we go. So now, now, right now, you'll be able to see the phone where it goes. And <laughs> there we go. So now you see the new messages icon. Um, the customized one that is available on this theme. You can do this for all of your themes. Just go down where it says text and rename it to messages. You don't have to do this if it's already customized. Maybe there's some um, theme artists who have already made the little change for you. But for those of them have, that haven't, you can go ahead and utilize this trick. So just a quick simple trick to uh, get your messages icon customized. Like how you always wanted it to be before. And I'm Alan Peace.